News with the seven things to know to start your day. Number one, new for you this morning, a Clark County students will not be allowed on campus for now after an apparent threat was made to bring a gun to school. Authorities say the threat was made on Friday, but school officials just heard about it yesterday. The student is not allowed on any Clark County R1 school campus or any after school activity while authorities investigate that threat. Number two happening right now. Students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School head back to class. This is a live look of one of our sister stations there in South Florida as they're doing live reports all morning long. As uh, you can imagine, a very emotional day as teachers are going to try to make this kind of a normal day as students go. A big police presence. I will tell you that Building 12, where a lot of the mass shooting happened, is still closed. It is a shortened day for students and staff there today. Number three, breaking just minutes ago, the New York Times tweeted out Dick's Sporting Goods it will stop selling assault-style rifles and high-capacity magazines at their stores. The retailer will also not sell any gun to anyone under the age of 21 years old, regardless of local laws. Number four takes us to Washington, D.C., where U.S. Senator Dick Durbin spoke on the Senate floor yesterday to discuss the urgent need to curb gun violence. The Illinois senator met with supervisors of the mass shooting from Stoneman Douglas High School. He says Republicans who control Congress should, quote, stand up to the NRA and do something the NRA might not like. Also this morning, Illinois lawmakers are pushing a series of new gun control measures, some big votes expected today, that could bring these bills one step closer to the governor's desk. One measure would allow a family member or police officer to flag a person who they deem a potential threat. Number six, new resignation calls as a new investigation of Missouri Governor Eric Greitens begins. A special pan panel of seven Missouri House mem members is now in place to investigate allegations against the Republican governor. And number seven, temperatures not too bad this morning, upper 40s to lower 50s as you head out on a Wednesday morning, the last day of February. We're going to talk about scattered showers and the need for your umbrella today.